everybody, Chris Horton with Elk Addicts. Welcome to Elk Addict Gear Reviews where we talk about gear that we have used in the field. Today we're talking about the Enlightened Equipment Enigma 20. This is a quilt that I used last season in the early part of the season. This particular quilt, as the 20 suggests, is a 20 degree rated quilt. Uh, it has the 850 down. The particular quilt that I used was the long wide version. It comes from the factory with this stuff sack. I myself used a different stuff sack that allowed me to compress it even more. So that took up less space in my backpack. When you're not using the quilt or have it in the stuff sack out in the field, it comes with a cotton storage sack, which is what you want to actually keep it in because that protects the down from getting damaged. If you're crushing that down, it's going to lose its effectiveness. What I found with this particular quilt was that it was it worked really well down to about 30 degrees. Um, below that, I started getting pretty cool. Uh, I'd have to wear some cl more clothes, uh, maybe bust out a puffy when it got down into the 20s. So really, I used it a lot during scouting and then early archery. After that, I went to a little bit warmer quilt that I'll be talking about in another review. We're going to now set this quilt up on a sleeping pad. So you can see it comes with two uh, bungees that allow you to attach it to your pad. That way it's not sliding off in the middle of the night. All right, as you can see, we have the quilt set up. This is on my favorite particular pad, which is the Neo Air X-Therm. This particular quilt comes with two bungees that you're able to put on. This one is able to be tightened and adjusted depending on how tight you want it. This particular one is set and sewn from the factory. It's actually basically a circle that will hold your quilt on. So in the middle of the night as you move around, it's not opening up on you. As I said, this one is adjustable on the side. You're able to pull it tight if you have a cold night to where you want to make sure you're keeping your sides tucked in so that cold air won't get in there. The other thing is, is if it's really cold on you, you can undo these. And they are a male and female clip. So you're able to clip them together as a standalone, allowing you to even do a better job of sealing around you. At the head, it has another snap right here you're able to put together. And if it's particularly cold, it has its own drawstring as well. That's the reason I actually went with the long is so that I could get my whole body inside of the quilt if it's particularly cold. The nice thing I really like about it too is when you are up scouting in the summer is you can leave that undone and basically run the quilt as just a blanket which allows you then to breathe a little better because when you go to sleep it's typically in that 60 degree range it's a little too warm to actually want a true blanket but then as the temperature falls like it does in the mountains then you're able to bundle up a little more at night and enjoy a, a warm comfortable sleep the foot box of the enigma which is a little different from a lot of quilts is actually sewn in so that does a lot better job of actually keeping your feet warm versus actual quilts that have the hole at the end that you're trying to seal shut. That then, no matter how hard you pull on the drawstring, they still allow a draft in there. So you are going to lose uh, some of your warmth. This whole setup weighs 21 ounces. So it weighs substantially less than what my uh, mummy bag that I ran before did. Overall, I've been very, very happy with this setup. Um, the 20 degree is a little bit light for late season archery or into rifle for me uh, because I'm a pretty cold sleeper. But 
that's when I make the move to a little heavier, a little warmer quilt. Overall though, I probably used this particular quilt more than the heavier 10 degree quilt because of the fact of the lighter weight and just the time of year that I was actually backpack hunting. I definitely recommend taking a look at uh, this quilt because of the fact there was a few things, the lightweight and the, a neat thing is that they're actually made right there in Minnesota. So that's an American made product. Definitely check them out. It's, it's enlightenedequipment.com and feel free to ask any questions on the video below that you may have. If you're somebody who's looking to get into backpack hunting, I would definitely take a look at the quilt setup. I personally like down because it compresses so much further than a synthetic and it weighs a lot less. In particular that Enigma 20 was 21 ounces versus the two and three quarter pound mummy bag that I was running before. Now it worked really well for me as I said before for the early part of the season and then up to about the middle part of archery. The problem is, is I hunt pretty high elevation, nine, 10,000 feet. So it gets pretty cold from the mid part of September and on. We're hitting down into the teens, um, low 20s. So I'm a pretty cold sleeper. So it wasn't quite warm enough for me um, the later part of the season, but that's when I made the switch to a little heavier, little warmer quilt. The Enigma does a really good job with that closed foot box of keeping you warm but when it is warm during the summer, you're able to open up those sides and keep yourself uh, re well regulated. I would definitely take a look at the Enlightened Equipment Enigma if you're looking to upgrade your sleep setup. I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this review and be sure to check out other reviews on the Elk Addicts gear um, that we've used in the field. Thanks for watching and have a great day.